Buenos Aires, a lot of people have spoken about the issue of Duxi system. I want to give you a very sad story so that at least as a government you get to understand how dear the, the Muslim community and particularly the Somali community hold Islamic education. What we have now in Nairobi, Nakuru, Eldoret, Mombasa and everywhere is that the Somalis that found opportunity to go to Europe, North America and the rest because of this issue of NATO LTGB or what's, uh, what's the term? Yeah, this uh, uh, homosexuality and many other issues and the challenge it poses and the, the risk that it poses all most men have decided to remain behind send their families back home to make sure they get a good islamic foundation so for us is an absolute necessity and realizing this in my 10 years as a governor uh, our brother director general remembers very well nakonek they remember very well i decided to recruit 300 uh, madrasa teachers uh, informally and uh, uh, I was called by Madam Amina then CS for education and she requested because we are working on something please wait a bit don't recruit them because it might spoil the necessity has not gone away and it will never go away this reality the sooner the government gets married to it uh, the better because at that point what did I look at we had the worst uh, terror incidences in this country, both in terms of frequency of occurrence and severity of occurrence. And we did not do any background check on our madrasa teachers. As long as he can, he reads and he's, uh, uh, his ulama, he can understand. It was impossible for us. What we said, if we formalize, bring the informal uh, Islamic education system into the formal education, the government will be able to have full visibility in, in database in terms of who are teaching these kids, who are the kids getting exposed to, what kind of narratives are they being taught, because parents are too trusting. They will take the kids there and then they are taught. At the end of it all, you never know what is being taught. And that is the challenge that we had and it's an absolute necessity. It's very critical that you take it up. Uh, as, uh, as an issue that is inevitable and we will support uh, at the parliamentary level.